So I promised a video of the new yard layout. This part hasn't changed too much except all of the shrubs are out of there. You can now see the stones that were there, the big rocks. And you can see the native plantings all across the front of that bed. It's rose mallow on the right, which is in bloom. And then there are some grasses and bayberry and bearberry. These are all native. They're all uh, tolerant to salt water. So coming back this way, you'll see a whole little new expanse. So this is the front steps. And from this view, you can see how things have changed a bit. The Japanese maple that was out by the pond has been moved over to this corner of the house. So it gives quite a different look. There are some other plantings that are going to go into the front area of the house, but we're going to do that in the spring. From here you can see that new expanse where there were only three trees before and beyond it, the pond of course, and that corner of the yard. Coming up this way, no major changes at this point. There will be a few different plants coming in here. But when you get across the road, it's a different story altogether. So we built a berm that extends all the way along the property. And the theme of it is the edge of the woods. I'll walk over that way and get a closer look. This area is designed to look like the edge of the woods. There's a whole range of different plants in here, uh, probably about 20, no, more like 40 different plants, uh, and in some cases, multiple copies of them. Again, they're very small this year. They'll double in size next year, and this whole area will grow up to create quite a screen with a theme of the wood's edge. Everything here is the sort of stuff that one would find along the edge of an open plain next to the woods uh, on Long Island or in New England. All native plants, cone flowers up there, very purple. Uh, lots of others that give you a list. In the corner, we're missing about 20 fern plants that are going to go in there, so that'll be a very thick fern area. And uh, again, some of these plants you see that are two or three feet tall, quite skinny, they're going to fill out. Some of these other plants are going to repropagate, so there'll be plenty of them in here. And just for the record, here's the fall garden, which has some kale, some squash, some mescaline growing in it. And a few little turnips yet to be pulled. You can see them in the upper right. Uh, some dill plant. And uh, struggling little bits of oregano and chives. I think they need a lot more warmer weather. Oh, the remnants of the old garden at its end for the season. This area has been reset. You can see there's all sorts of uh, mulch here and there will be stepping stones that allow you to walk around the mulched area and through another fern garden that we've created. Those stepping stones will carry on straight to the back steps by the blue room and that will be done in the spring. So concludes the tour of the new property.